Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I'm Sunny with Healing Power Divine Universe, and I am here with messages from the divine. I have a lot of messages to go over today, so I'm going to be real quick with my opening. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you're notified when I upload more videos. Hit that like button and share this video if you think others can benefit from my messages. Also, if you'd like to donate, there's a link below to my PayPal. I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, let's get started here. So, to start off, we have start where you are. The great thing about feeling deep, profound, earth-shaking love is that you can start with anyone. Next, the universe. So they're wanting you to really start with love for yourself. To give yourself unconditional love and then you can project that out to other people. But really, allow yourself to, to feel that unconditional love. Be that unconditional love and be everything that you need to be for yourself. And then you can project it out. So, challenge. Unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms. If you are open, please take over divine and guide the right actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. So turn to the divine if you are facing any type of challenges in your life at this time. Allow the divine to take over and really allow the divine to, to push you in the direction that you need to go. Um, put you on the path that you're needing to go down and to really help you um, be each and every challenge that comes your way so we have the seven of coins in reverse now the seven of coins is going to be um, work and patience rewarded good news financially and it's in reverse so right now maybe people aren't recognizing the hard work you've put in um, and your finances are a little low so maybe you're struggling that way so you need to be patient you need to turn to the universe and allow the universe to really um, give you what you need to really keep you going uh, really have faith and belief that the universe is going to provide to you when the time is right and when you're needing each and everything that you need to keep going in life we have the tower in reverse now we all know that the tower um, upright is is when you build a foundation on false pretenses and it comes crumbling down but when it's in reverse you could have either avoided this tower or you're beginning to rebuild from this tower hitting one or the other i also ask the universe to please tell me which signs to avoid if possible for this weekend and i pulled five cards for that so there'll be five different um, signs to avoid for the weekend if you can and ascendant, outlook, worldview, mission statement, expression, effect, role, mark, attitude, outer self, point of view, body image, aura, likeness, approach, impact, first impression. And this is, card is a sign of all zodiac signs. Now we know that's pretty impossible to do unless you go into hermit mode and stay in hermit mode over the weekend. And that might be a very good thing for you to do since it is saying to try to avoid all signs if possible for this weekend open up so open up your 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 connection to the divine because as you can see her, her arms are up and the light is above her so you need to open up and allow the divine to really communicate through you to communicate to you what your next steps are going to be it also could be telling you to open up about what has been going on in your life maybe you haven't been expressing yourself to those around you to anyone in general um, maybe it's time that you open up and really speak your your truth speak what's been going on tell people around you what has been happening to you or just allow the universe to really connect to you and open up so you can receive the downloads that the universe is trying to give you eight of swords restriction so there's somewhere in your life or that you feel that you're being restricted if that's financially if that's in love if it's in relationships in general but at this time the universe is restricting you from something um, you need to just allow that to happen you need to maybe go within and figure out what restrictions are be being put on you and try to figure out why those restrictions are there is it the way that you're acting towards a situation are you being um, are you not cooperating with the universe uh, are there restrictions to to help you because maybe you're in danger I mean there could be a lot of reasons why the universe is restricting you for, from something or someone we have support so know that you do have support 
that is around you. If it's just support within yourself, if it's support of the universe, your angels, your ancestors, your guides, or support of other people, you know, that are involved in your situation, there is support. And I believe that that support is coming towards you. And I think once that support arrives, you won't feel so restricted in the decisions and in your life as much as what you have in the past. Belief. I believe that each check I write brings money back to me tenfold. So definitely don't be afraid to spend money. I'm not saying go hog wild and go buy everything that you've ever desired. But, you know, if you're like me, I've been really watching my money and I've been afraid to even spend a dime because I don't want to be broke. Um, really allow yourself to know that every time you spend some money, that money is going to come back to you, but come back to you in tenfold. So don't be too afraid. If you need to go eat, go eat. If you need somewhere to stay, find a place to stay and so on. Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. So relationships are really important to make sure that you, the people that you are around, the people that you are allowing into your life are serving your highest good. If they're not, then you need to be cutting those people out. We need to develop healthier uh, relationships with ourselves, with the universe, and with other people at this time. The higher font. Now the higher font is, to me, is a, a leader of an organization. It could be the government. It could be a cult. It could be a religious organization. But it, um, whomever this person is, is very strong in this reading. Uh, maybe you're trying to break free of this higher font. Maybe you are this higher font. But it also can uh, stand for traditional values, a wise person that provides guidance. So maybe this, it's going to be a uh, a person in government, law enforcement, someone that is going to give you some advice to help you um, decide which way you're going to go. Which path are you going to choose? Am I going to stay where I'm at? Am I going to release what what I have, where I have been living, the people I've been around and leave them behind and really step into my power and move towards the universe, move towards the path that I'm meant to go down? This person is going to bring in some, some good advice for you. So listen and know that this person is going to help you. They choose you. You might not readily believe this. It might even spook you a bit, but there are those who chose this very lifetime in large part knowing you'd be there. Now that's what we call a reputation, hugs the universe. So if you have been waiting for someone to come into your life, if they had to make a choice between you and another person, you and an organization, religious organization, a cult, um, this higher font, uh, know that they did choose you and they chose to be in this lifetime with you from the very get-go. So they're meant to be in your life and that's quite a reputation. I mean, honestly, that's saying a lot about who you are, what you stand for and what you're really putting out into the world towards other people. And I got the chills when I said that. So that's beautiful. Money. All my finances are now in divine order. Love itself knows my needs and is the source for all. I needn't cling to gain or fear loss. Every need will be met through offering all to the divine. So if you are struggling with money, offer it to, to the divine and know that the divine is going to take care of you. That when you need to eat, that somehow food will come to you or money will come to you to eat. If you need somewhere to stay, and uh, you don't have the money. Know that divine will find you somewhere to stay and money will come towards you. So on. Just offer and surrender all to the divine. And believe and have faith. We have the hanged man. Now to me this is Pisces or Virgo. You are probably in the hangman position waiting for something to happen. Waiting for your next step on your path. To know which journey you're going to take. There's nothing wrong with being in this hangman position because at times we have to be until things are worked out in our favor, until the divine knows exactly where they're sending us and so on. So allow yourself to kind of hang around and just have patience and know that the divine is working as fast as they can. We have the nine of pentacles. Now the nine of pentacles is uh, financial success and material security. So you definitely have some finances coming your way and you're definitely going to be secure materially also. So you just need to kind of hang out in that um, hangman position and know that the universe is working as fast as they can 
and they are bringing financial and material success to you. It might not be coming as fast as you would like, but that is also maybe um, the way that the universe is teaching you patience to really have faith and believe that they're doing everything they can and it will be coming to you as soon as possible. We have Sagittarius, the Voyager, enthusiastic, philosophous, independent, generous, ethical, seeking, happy-go-lucky, adventurous, honest, bareback, unbridled, experimental, lucky, boundless, traveling, risk-taking, tactless, self-righteous. So you need to avoid a Sagittarius this weekend if you can. We have opposition balance, relates, mirrors, interacts, confronts, makes conscious, manifests, disciplines, conflicts with, tests, objectifies, calls out, and it is a sign of Aries, Libra, Taurus, and Scorpio. So avoid those signs at all costs if you can. We have lead. So either you are stepping into this lead role or somebody is going to be stepping into your life that is in this lead role. This could be an authority figure. It could be a, a government worker, um, a police officer, a FBI agent, CIA, or maybe you're going to be offered something that is going to help you lead a situation in the right direction. If you are looked at as a leader, it is time to step into that leader role and really, you know, allow yourself to lead others that need to be led in the right direction. If it's somebody coming into your life, you need to definitely allow this person to lead you in the direction that you need to go, to lead you towards your material and financial success. Maybe this leader is going to offer you a job. Maybe they're bringing something to you to help you go down your next path. But if, like I said, you're the leader that I'm speaking of, you need to step into that leader role and really allow yourself to lead yourself and others to the divine, towards the path that you're meant to go down. The lover's choices. Now, the lover's card represents Gemini. Um, it doesn't have to be, but Gemini could be strong in this. Um, you are going to have choices in love if it's in a romantic love. Maybe it's with family and friends, but you're going to have to make these choices. It usually represents that there's more than one choice to be made. It could be someone else having to make this choice or you having to make this choice. But typically, there's two people that you're going to have to choose from. If you're not sure exactly which one you want to choose, don't make that choice right away. Allow the divine to really connect with you and connect with your angels, your ancestors, your guides, and ask them to please direct you into making the right choice, the choice that's really going to benefit you, that is really going to lead you down to happiness, um, fulfillment, you know, a positive relationship, no toxics, um, situations, or anything like that. But really, um, take your time while making this choice. Maybe you're going to have to go into the hangman position to, to be able to decide which one you're wanting to take. I will say that... Um, in the readings lately that I've done and other people have done is you need to make the choice that is new that you haven't really experienced before because the new option I believe is going to be better it doesn't mean that you don't know this person or both people but if there's one choice that you've already been in a relationship with maybe it's time to step towards a new um, relationship towards a new direction so Realizations, so you're going to have a lot of, you're going to realize a lot of stuff within the next couple days. Maybe you're going to receive a lot of downloads from spirit. Um, maybe information is going to be coming towards you and you're really going to realize exactly what the situation's been that you've been going through. Um, maybe you're going to realize which uh, choice to make in love. But just know that you are going to have a lot of realizations coming towards you and it's going to help guide you in the right direction. We have faith. I have faith that I can manifest the wealth and prosperity that I desire. So again, believe and have faith that the universe is working as fast as they can and that you can definitely manifest the wealth and prosperity that you're desiring with the help of the universe, of course. Abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. So abundance is coming your way. As long as you believe, you have to believe and have faith that abundance is coming your way. That's why those two cards have already came out before that abundance card. Even, you know, if you're broke, even if you don't have 50 cents to your name, know that abundance is on its way towards you. 
we have the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is whoop, uh, completion of the first stage of project progress. So you're completing something in your life that is really going to help move you down your new path. That is really going to point you in the direction that you need to go. If you look at this card, there's a ship sailing off into the sun. And that's going to be you. You're going to be sailing off into the sun. Maybe literally. I mean, maybe you have a sailboat. And you're going to get on the sailboat and sail off. And if not, just a figure of speak. But you are really going to start on your new journey. Really go down your new path. You were born with that it quality. Do you want to know what's really beautiful? Confidence. Do you want to know what's really powerful? Persistence. Do you want to know what's really sexy? Please, I know about sexy. Not needing to be needed. And if still they don't notice your, your good looks, your strength, and your sachet, could you feel more sorry for them? Tally-ho the universe. <laughs> I love that card. So you were born with the it quality. So you need to step into that it position and know that you were born to really shine, to really um, have people noticing you, to to be confident and have that shashay or whatever in your life. So companionship. When you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the ones who are re meant to be with you. May I welcome the solitude knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. I feel that a lot of us have been in that solitude for a long time so I think the universe is bringing companionship to us I think that we have embraced our solitude and the right people are going to slowly start coming into our life and really embrace us and we're really going to embrace the people coming in so that's beautiful we have the ace of coins now the ace of coins is start of a successful venture important documents or a gift so maybe Somebody's going to be bringing in a gift. Maybe there's going to be important documents that you need to review. Make sure that you don't sign anything till you review them. Maybe have another person review them to make sure that you're understanding it correctly. You don't want any little small fine print that you miss and you end up screwing yourself over with money or a situation. But really look over those documents very carefully. Um, and you might be uh, starting off on a new adventure with maybe a business with maybe a job with maybe just moving from one city to the next or one state to the next or one country to the next but you know success is coming your way and I think that if there are financial documents that they're really going to provide what you have been missing they're really going to bring in this abundance that you've been being so patiently waiting for we have the wheel of fortune so that says a lot I think we've all been teetering down here, down here for a long time, and it's our time to be up on top. And that's what's coming towards you, is you're going to be on top of that wheel. We need to remember that we don't always stay on top. That wheel is constantly moving, constantly going. And, you know, when we're on the bottom, it's moving on top, but we can't stay there forever. So we need to plan. We need to save. We need to acknowledge that, you know, we all will go down here. And we don't want to end up in a position, if you are in a position like me, where you are like, you know, scraping by, that you are barely making it. You want to make sure that you're saving enough up here so when you're down here, you're not struggling. So remember that. And when you're up here, be very, very grateful for what you have. And when you're down here, be very grateful. Share your gratitude with the universe for each and everything that you have. We have Aquarius. Experimental, rational, unique, liberal, electric, group-oriented, uh, free, radical, diverse, uh, disruptive, edgy, detached. So avoid an Aquarius this weekend. Saturn, wisdom, discipline, structure, time, responsibility, tests, ambition, difficulty, restraint, grounding, practical, self-control, traditional, container, bones, maturity, gravity, suffocating. And it is a sign of Capricorn and Aquarius. So avoid those signs at all costs if you can this weekend. We have detach. So it's time for you to detach from maybe a thought process, from people, from a way of living, from, from anything that has been holding you back. Become this bird and detach. Fly away. Fly away towards your new path, towards your new journey. And leave whatever 
you're detaching behind. Don't take it with you. Seven of Pentacles potential. This card has come out in a lot of readings the last couple days. So there is a lot of potential in the on the path that you're going to be going down. A lot of potential for financial gain, a lot of potential in your career, uh, maybe building a business, potential in love, and, and really um, having that abundant life. So you need to really be thinking positive, know it's coming towards you, and manifest all the good things that we want and need in our life. Get some rest. I know that card's for me. I just have not been sleeping good. I wake up at the butt crack of dawn, excuse my mouth, but... And then I just go, 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 and then I'm just exhausted. And and it's time for you to kind of be able to sit back and maybe rest up. Maybe you're going to receive some news that's going to really allow you to, to go to sleep and stay asleep all night long. And maybe you just relax. Go, if you can, go to the beach. Go sit by a pool. Do anything that's going to help you relax and help you get some rest. You need to rejuvenate yourself for your next step in life. Honesty. I am fair and honest, and that attracts fairness and honesty into my life. So really be honest with yourself, with everyone around you, in, in every situation that you are, you come upon. We have pride. I love myself, and I see myself in everyone. So really allow your pride to shine, but really allow yourself to put yourself in another person's shoes. Do not think that you're better than anyone, or anyone else is better than you. And then the last card I pulled is the Hermit. So you are needing, and this is a sign of Virgo. So Virgo could be strong in this reading too. But you're needing to really step back, step within, and go within. And really decide which path you want to take. What, Where is that path going to take me? Is it going to take me to my abundance? Am I going to be happy? If you have choices in love, you need to step back and go into Hermit mode and really think about which people are offering you love. Is this one honest? Is this one honest? How do I feel about them? Um, which one is going to create abundance with me and really, you know, create a very healthy, loving, happy life with me? So those are the messages I have from the divine today. And I, it's what a beautiful reading. You have a lot to look forward to. You need to definitely step back and breathe, get some rest and allow yourself to really think about all the things that you're wanting, what steps you're wanting to take and whom you're wanting to go in those you know with those steps with so just take your time you have you know you don't need to rush into any decisions and really connect with the universe really open up so the universe can allow you can allow the downloads and the intuition and everything that the universe is trying to give you to help you on your next path so i'm sending you all so much unconditional love so many po positive vibes and peace each and every day Thank you again for watching my channel, and if you'd like to donate, there's a link below. I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Peace.